man convicted in what police call a planned killing spree in Wayne and Oakland counties will spend the rest of his life in prison. But Vernus Griffin wasn't there to hear his punishment from the judge. He refused to come out of his cell for today's sentencing. But as Rod Maloney shows us, that didn't keep the family of one of the victims from sharing their pain and heartbreak. This is video of 48-year-old Vernus Griffin from prior hearings. But one of the few times that he agreed to be in court for his trial, where a jury found him guilty of murder and numerous other violent felonies, including carjacking. That stems from a wild shooting and chase that Griffin killed his boss, who sat at his desk, stole a company truck cab, and drove from Taylor to Waterford, where police finally stopped his vehicle. Today, Griffin refused to appear at his sentencing. Judge Lawrence Talon saying it was Griffin's way to try and have the opportunity to overturn the conviction on appeal. And at one point he stated that when he gets out, whether it be on federal appeal or someday, he, I think he said to me in the courtroom, I believe on the record, what are you going to say to the victims then? Then it was the victim's family's turn. Keith Kitchen's family mourned his loss, and Keith's sister Margaret Kitchen's directed anger at Griffin. Keith did not deserve to die in the fashion in which he did. Mr. Griffin did not murder my brother. He massacred them. There were few dry eyes in the courtroom as she continued. Our family is broken and living day to day in a haze from extreme heartbreak Denial that Keith is truly gone. Part of our soul is missing and we are forever changed. Now, Griffin allegedly killed two men in this shooting spree. One of them, Keith Kitchens, was his boss. The judge sentenced him to natural life in prison, but then went on because Griffin was on bond at the time of this incident. The carjacking, felony firearms, and, and also armed robbery were added in consecutive terms so that it would ensure that Griffin never gets out of prison alive. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.